All right, today I'm really excited to be talking with Denise Litchfield, and we're gonna talk about intuition. So have you ever wondered, is it my mind talking, or is it something beyond the mind, something, some kind of spiritual guidance that we're getting? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. And Denise Litchfield is really qualified to talk about this because this is what she works on. Let me share with you her bio, and then I'm gonna bring her on. So Denise Litchfield is, an irreverent psychic and medium who's allergic to the new age fluff and regularly talks to dead people. One of the things I love about Denise is her humor, her uh, sassiness, and you're going to really, I think, enjoy this conversation I'm having with her. Um, so she, um, what she does is she does psychic readings for people and also teaches people how to develop more of their intuition and their psychic abilities so that people can really get the answers that they want uh, without weird, what it says here, without wearing weird clothes or stinking uh, of patchouli. <laughs> so Denise, thank you so much for being here. I'm really looking forward to this conversation. I am too. Thank you so much for having me, George. It's going to be fun. I just know it is. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so um, intuition, this is something that a lot of us, uh, no is obviously is important because uh, there is a power uh, within us, beyond us, however you want to say that uh, if we allow it to guide our life, um, we are much more on track and on purpose. But a lot of times, you know, this is my question too. It's like, well, how, how do I know? It's just my monkey mind saying something to me or a past thought or something like that. So how do we, how do we start to think about this? Well, Actually, you and about a million other people have the same dilemma. Um, because we're human, you know, and our monkey mind does get in the way. Yeah. Uh, but, but there is usually, there's something that always runs through a good intuitive thought. And it's actually, you know, what, what I am going to be talking about today is how to tell the difference between them so that you're not constantly having that thought that, you know, in the middle of the night goes round and round and round and, and you think, oh, it's a sign, you know, and, and most of all, it's actually not. Those ones aren't the sign. Wow. So that is interesting. So then the ones that go round and round in our heads, I mean, sometimes mm -hmm. I think, well, gosh, if it's repeating itself, then, then there must be something there, <laughs> but maybe it's not. It's actually the opposite. It's actually the opposite. Huh. Okay. Yeah, it'll be it'll be the short statement. It will be just that little thought that goes, go down this street home today, and it's very soft and very light. And you go, oh yeah. And later on, you find out that there's a two car pile up on the way you would have gone. You know, um, it will be the it will be the you know what? Just pick up some more rice because you know you're at the supermarket and you find yourself grabbing some extra things and then you realize someone's popped in for dinner unexpectedly it's the gentle little thoughts that's one statement with a full stop at the end and that's how you tell the difference now why why is that why why is it like you said why is it like a full statement with a full yeah say more about that why is it well I'm not sure. I guess, I guess when I, you know, get spirit side and get my angels and wings and my harp, I, I might know. But what I imagine is that it's easiest to get through for us to take notice because it's calm and it's gentle and it's a full stop and it's more like our own thought voice, you know. And I think this is where a lot of people get confused is that they expect the burning bush. They expect, you know, that the clouds to part and, and, the, and the trumpets to blare and, you know, Whoa, this is God talking. And, you know, they tried that in the Bible, didn't they? You know, on the road to Damascus and it freaked everybody out. And I think if that's how God appears to us, we would be freaked out. I would be, you know. Yeah. So I think, I think they've modified their strategy a bit and it's a lot more subtle than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I wonder also, it's, it's, you know, I, I've always felt like, you know, practicing faith is, is maybe part of our work here. It's like, if we need a burning bush for every direction we, we need to change, it's like, well, we, we might as well not be in this adventure of the human, yes. human life. It's like, 
it's like it's like you know it, the burning bush it's it, it almost overtakes our free will a lot yes. because it's like well it's a burning bush talking to me it's like you can't really deny that um yeah. whereas with that with that subtle still small voice within us mm -hmm. uh we have the choice to say yes or no and and mm -hmm. learn to listen to it better so so how do how do we learn to listen to it better well, I think you're right with a still small voice is we, we don't actually get the opportunity to argue with it so much. And maybe that's why it's quiet, because we don't have that whole backwards and forwards in and out, maybe what if, what if. It's so quiet, it seems to slip underneath our, our, our rational arguing fear monkey mind. And I think that's very clever. You know, how do we learn to listen to it? I, I think we learn to just act on it. And and notice it more. And, and usually when I work with uh, my students and people that come to me to, to learn this, it's by learning to be sensitive to everything, you know, to, to still the mind a little bit through some kind of, you know, mindfulness practice. If it's not meditation, it's walking or sitting quietly, however you do that. Um, but it's, it's quietening that monkey mind and then being aware of, oh, and noticing it and going, oh yeah, that was, I followed up on that and it worked. And it's like a muscle, you know, if you want a six pack, you go to the gym. So if you want a psychic six pack, you gotta kind of act on it. That's nice, that's nice. I think we all, of course, I think everyone watching this have, have had those thoughts. Yes. And after watching this, um, I think we'll be more aware of it for the rest of today, tomorrow, hopefully, hopefully longer than that. Now, it's interesting you said, you know, we, we, we learn by acting on it and seeing that it works. Okay. And you gave a couple, actually, I would love for you to give another example or two um, to like ground this idea. Yeah. Well, look, it's funny right, right now. I mean, I did have some examples, but right now, as we speak, um, I'm not sure what it's like in your part of the world, but in Australia, everyone's freaking out about the coronavirus, right? Yeah. You cannot buy a roll of toilet paper anywhere. Wow. Really? In the country. Don't ask me why it's toilet paper. Wow. But <laughs> that's weird. It's yeah. Like, it, everyone's just panicked. And yeah. that's the opposite of that, mm. you know? Um, mm. And for me, I was I was just kind of pondering on this, and, and I was thinking, well, well, what what's my reaction? What am I going to do? And I and I just sat in the stillness, and I thought, you know what? I'll wait for an answer to come. And then, sure enough, by the love of Facebook, because I do believe Facebook is an oracle of some kind, right? Um, there was this fantastic article by a gentleman that really just laid it out common sense and stopped the panic. And I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. And you know what, when it's intuitive, it feels, there is this ah to it, you know, you feel the, the, the whole intensity drop and, and there is an expansion and a sense of, uh, confirmation. It's almost like your soul goes, thank goodness. That, that's, mm, I that's like how that. It feels. Mm. Yeah. And when we act on it, uh, of course, it can take courage or some ingenuity. Mm. Um, sometimes it's simple, like you said, oh, get some simple more rice way. or something like that. Simple. It, say it again. It, it is simple. It is simple. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and how do we know it worked? I guess is my question. Well, I, I believe that we, we send out those questions and those thoughts out to the universe, you know, and, and whether it's our higher selves, whether it's God, whether it's, I mean, I'm not actually concerned as to who, uh, I'm not really concerned about the messenger as much as the message, you know, what is the quality of that message? Does it feel expanding? And usually... I, I, with my students, I, I always say they start you off on trainer wheels. They start you off on little things to get you used to it, like get more rice, you know, like take that other thing to kind of go, oh, is she listening? Yeah, okay, she's listening. All right, well, let's, let's upgrade the message now and see if she gets that. And then so as you progress, you, you, the, the messages are also progressed too to the degree that you're also willing to expand your 
um, receptive field or like your psychic satellite dish to receive it. Mm, I like that. So there's a progression mm. in, in this learning. Yes. And um, the key is for us to try it. And just baby steps. If yes. You're never going to get more than you uh, can handle or bargain. And a lot of people are scared. I think, well, what if I open up mm. and, you know, <gasps> I, I see something I don't want to see or I can't turn it off or a lot of the stuff that maybe is portrayed as psychic ability in, in the media or in the movies actually doesn't happen like that. It, it's very much a slow, we call it the slow cook method. You know, it's, it's great. And often, you know, it doesn't happen fast enough because a lot of people are like, come on, I want it. I want it. And you know, <laughs> they're impatient like myself when I first started. So I've got, it's the opposite really. Oh, I love that. I love yeah. that. It's gentle. gentle. Um, so when I, uh, so, you know, sometimes I, I think we've all experienced uh, the red flag. Okay. Yeah. Like, like, you know, it could be like, oh, should I, you know, work with this person or mm. should I try on this project or should mm. I um, do, go to this event or whatever it is. And yeah. there's, there's a red flag, like hmm, maybe we shouldn't, but maybe traditionally or usually yeah. we would do it. So we just went ahead and did it. Mm. And then, of course, it didn't work out. Talk mm. about that a little bit. Um, oh, my goodness. Is that part of this? <laughs> yes, it's a part okay. of it. And, you know, and we're human, aren't we? You know, and we will. Doesn't mean just because we're intuitive, we are infallible and we never make a wrong move. Uh, and I think that our mistakes are the greatest way we learn. Uh, I'm constantly making those mistakes. Um, yeah, me too. <laughs> but, but, but it's more on the, oh, you know, like recently there was someone that wanted to work with me and it just felt glitchy. Like we just couldn't quite match up the messages or, 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 or when the email was sent, it didn't quite have enough info, you know, and it was sort of sticky, you know? gravelly and i always feel to me intuition when it's wrong it feels gravelly um i can't really just you know like there's not this smoothness and and i think there is a there's synchronicity involved and there's uh flow and and yeah those kind of things they're the green flags but the red flags and i also think that sometimes our culture currently especially in business it's all about grab, seize, master, dominate, all those very, uh, you know, masculine, actively yang kind of, you know, this is how you're supposed to do business, where, where it, working with intuition is the opposite. It, it's very yin. And so we learn to sit back and relax and see how it flows. It's the opposite. So we're going we're gonna to get it wrong a few times as we learn to relax into this higher flow i suppose which is why yes. i like your work right because yeah you're all thank you yes um so that's a that's an interesting question then i have about this because is there is there such a thing sometimes as a test uh or a challenge where you are meant to persist uh or or maybe not or maybe when it's right it it there is more of a flow throughout the process what's your what's your opinion on that um i i really like it's not intuitive but i really like my favorite quote about that uh is from robert de niro in the film ronin uh and ronin was a film basically about you know japanese warrior the warrior class and the honor and the philosophy that they lived their lives by and robert de niro had this quote in the film and he said when there's doubt there is no doubt and that's something I repeat to myself and my partner a lot. It basically means if you have doubt about something, then there's, it's wrong. It, it like back away. There is no doubt that you should be going forward. And it, it's, it's quite black and white, but I, I do, you know, and when I have gone ahead, you know, and, and, and then it's turned out to be not so great. It's like, oh, I, I didn't listen. 
when my yeah. ego wanted it, my small self wanted it, you know, the, the, I wanted the vanity metric or I wanted something that wasn't what my soul wanted. What about the, um, so, you know, so one of the things, of course, I talk about a lot is for people to create content and to show up mm. and all that. So what about those times when we're like, I don't feel like doing it. I don't feel like showing up. Um, how do we tell, and this is back to the same question, right? Like how do we tell when it's our mind, uh, our mind's resistance or our patterns resistance is sort yeah. of like our, our natural way, our natural habit has been to not do things, let's say, um, versus, versus the intuition. Yeah. You know, well, maybe sometimes the intuition is like, let's do it. Let's give it a try. And the fear, it's like, so how, how do we tell between, I guess, fear, uh, intuition? Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, fear will shut down intuition just like that. Oh. Fear will just smash it. Um, most of my students deal with fear before they turn it on and off. Fear is real. I mean, and it keeps us safe and it's hardwired into us too. Uh, and it's healthy. But for me, I don't believe in blocks. I think this whole business about block removal is the biggest way that coaches make money. And don't even get me started on that. You know, embrace that block. I, I had it yesterday. Um, I had to write some content. <laughs> and I was having a blah day and I sat uh, in a cafe. And I, I just wrote that I was having a blah day. I mean, as you should turn up as you are and and as I was you know typing into the you know I was sort of feeling well I don't really feel like doing this and I'm writing anyway and then on the music in the cafe comes my favorite song higher love you know that song bring me higher love wow. I'm not gonna sing it I'm not gonna embarrass you um, and I was like there we go there's my moment mm -hmm. but it ended up being a piece of content but in the beginning I started out like going, uh, I don't want to. So does that, does that kind of, yeah. I think you just go up, you know, yeah. what's yeah. and all. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that to me, there's a, there's a difference between resistance and um, the, the intuitive doubt in that, like when, I, when I'm creating, I know myself well enough that I never really feel like it. <laughs> it's like if I if I were to just follow you are my very honest about that. patterns, like I would never write a word. No. I would never no. show up. I mean, I would never do anything like this or be on video or anything. But showing up has been profoundly beneficial for me. And and it's like once I'm in it, um, yeah, it's like it's like the willingness to show up. The intuition actually tells me, yes, going. Like, and, and speaking from the heart rather than, mm. you know, and I'm sure this is a learned skill and I understand visibility and all of those things. But when you just show up and, and come from here, can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. You know, and, and that post, I think I got 10% reach on that. And it wasn't my most, it wasn't the most brilliant post by far, but I turned up and just said, hey, this is how I'm doing today. Well, and by the way, 10% reach on Facebook business page is actually better than the average. So, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah keep, keep going. And here's my blah day, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad at all. So any other, um, well, let, let, let me actually think of another example where we could, we could apply this. So let's say we're planning our day. Let's yeah. talk about that. Okay? Yeah. How, where does intuition come into planning our day or, or, or to uh, following our schedule? Like, like how, is that, how does that work? Um, what is, yeah, mm. how do you use that? Mm. Well, I love, I know, and this is different for you. You're very structured and you're very organized. <laughs> and I really admire that because I'm the opposite. I'm a total rebel. <laughs> um, and, yeah. and I really like to surf. I'm, I'm aware of my energies now. Mm -hmm. And I really know that when I'm on a creative role, I was like, oh, hop on that way, create like a mad thing. And I certainly know for me around the full moon, 
uh, I get very, you know, and I'll bash out four videos or I'll, you know, write 10 blogs or I'll plan. And then the dark of the moon is where, you know, I've got my, my this is my content <laughs> schedule here um, for the next six months and I'll just, you know, do it. so I'm, I'm very much of a flow and ebb person. Um, but the other part for intuition, I think we do, there is a, a fine mix between having the discipline and knowing when we are just goofing off. It's okay to goof off, but it's also okay to follow that, that realm. I do have a little list here of how you can spot fake intuition if that helps. Oh, I would love that. Yes, please yeah? do share. And I just want to say real quick, what you just said there about knowing your energy and the ebb and flow mm. is, um, you know, I would... I always tell people, listen, it's not the George Cow way that I want everyone to do. <laughs> I want everyone to try. First, you know, if you mm. if you find it intriguing, try the George Cow way. Yeah. But what I want everyone to do is to find a way that works for them to actually yeah. create, to actually show up. And mm. Denise, you are. Uh, I hope everyone will look to your Facebook page and your YouTube <laughs> channel and elsewhere, which we'll have the links to. Mm. You show up. And that's what I care about. Like you yeah. show up and that's show what matters. Up. And so it's like, if it works for you, if you know your energy well enough, my goodness, that's great. Yes. You know? So yes, please share that. Uh, yeah, share that isn't list that with the us. goal? Yeah. Now, if I can share, oh yes, I can. Just a second while I press Oh yes, you buttons. can share. No, it's, share it's all screen. good. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see that okay? Yes, now we can see the All whole right. list. Yeah. Well, this is it. And if you want to screenshot this, please do. But, but yeah. these are really the eight, ways that you can spot fake in what I call fake intuition what I mean by it might be fear it might be ego it might be our deepest darkest patterns it might be our blessed blocks you know whatever our human side um, which is no less valuable by the way it doesn't mean we're wrong it just means we're human um, but but uh, you know, it has high levels of emotion. So for example, the, you know, right now with this coronavirus, everyone's, you know, oh my God, what's, I'm having an intuitive download that I'm going to get the current. No, you're not, you know, because <laughs> it's, if it's dramatic, it ain't intuition. This is so interesting because this really goes against the typical, like I said, you know, like we've said, Hollywood version oh, yeah. of yeah. what spiritual guidance is. Oh yeah. Yeah, you do not want to be that woman with the big hair and the long nails stopping people on the street, telling them they're going to, you know, they're their uncles with them. You just don't want that. It's not really good for us, um, us as, as a brand. But, and, and other ideas like that if you get intuitive hit, but it, it reduces your power or it feels destabilizing, like, you know, oh my God, someone's going to die or I'm going to break up with that person or my launch is going to flop. It's mm. not intuitive. It's not. Ooh. An intuitive thing might be for your launch would be like, like for me, I forgot to put my Facebook ads on the other day. They kind of turned themselves off and I went, oh, a little voice just said, hey, check ads manager. Sure Ooh. Yeah, there you go. You know, right. that's intuition, not the oh my God stuff. Mm. Um, and, and if it feels intense, you know, if there's, like I said, if there's drama, if there's intensity, it's not from the soul. It's coming from our human side. Mm. Um, if it's loud, repetitive, not supportive, mm, yeah. you know, and you know, you all know this. You've, had, you've either had it yourself or you've heard someone else say it. Um, it doesn't feel good. And if there's not a chat, if there's a narrative, if it just goes on and on and on and on and oh, on and on, or you're arguing back and forth with it, or you're That's, having this whole conversation. Yeah, it's like the, the monkey mind. It's a really <laughs> right? totally. monkey mind. Right. And, and, and also, you know, what I sense here is the inner critic. Mm. It's like the inner critic is, is our own. It sounds like us. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mine sounds like my mom, but anyway. <laughs> right. Yeah, you, right, right, right. Yeah, it could, be, it could sound like, a, like an authority figure, right? Yeah, totally. And, it, you know, with her, I'm, I'm, she's in the back seat, but she doesn't get to drive now. Yeah. But, yeah, it took a while. So, yeah, but it does. And it doesn't feel, it doesn't make you feel expanded and comfortable and reassured and powerful. Our intuition, mm. you know. Uh, but what it does do is it does highlight a deeper fear, something else. It is a beautiful signpost for maybe a personal journey, some journaling, 
some work around that, you know, mm. be gentle. You know, I'm not saying it's wrong. It's just like, hey, I need to be gentle with myself around this. Yeah. Let's investigate it. But it's not intuition. Mm. Yeah. So I hope that helps. And um, as I said, yes. feel free and to also screenshot in, that. Very, very interesting here. It's set on a certain outcome. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've met my twin flame. I've <laughs> met this person. We're destined to be together. Right. <laughs> Why haven't they called me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Or, or yes, this launch will absolutely succeed. You know, this is. Gonna I'm going to make a million dollars. Not gonna, yeah. I'm not going to make a million dollars. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> a psychic told me my launch is going to be worth a million dollars. I'm going to make six k. Yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> So, um, yeah, there you go. That's great. Um, and is there, uh, it, is there a list for the, what is, you know, and, and we've been talking about all throughout. So yeah, there, yeah. Right. Is there a list? Yeah, it does actually. I can show you this. This is the great, this is the comparison, um, here. So if I was to put them side by side, uh -huh. we've talked about what it isn't. Yes. Right, oh, this is beautiful. but we can look at what it is. You know, it's yes. neutral. It feels everyday, small, like oh, your own so thought voice. Um, yeah, and um, I, I am aware of the time, and I want to I want to mm. just make sure that uh, those who are watching and, and fascinated by this know how to do more. Is this is this part of a slide of a part of the course that you have, or yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell this, us about this, that. This is actually, I'll stop sharing now because yeah. um, uh, this is actually a part of a little one hour mini course Great. that you can do to tell the difference between your imagination and intuition. It's called Trust Your Intuition because that's what most people struggle with. Um, and it's a skill set like that slide I showed you so that you can learn the discernment. And so it's not going to trip you up and, and have those, especially now in this current climate, we don't want to have those things messing with us because fear is going to kill your intuition dead. And we want you to be more connected to the truth, to your own power. And it's a very affordable course. It's 30 yeah. Australian 29. dollars. 29. 29, yeah, 29 yeah. Australian dollars. Um, which is whatever in the U.S. It's less than that. <laughs> less than. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, if you enjoyed this very brief presentation with Denise, I think you're going to enjoy that structured course that really goes into this. Denise, you also, of course, do readings, one-on-one yeah. -on -one meetings with people. Yeah. There's a couple of things I want to, want to make sure people know. Yeah. You do the readings. I yeah. think they're very affordable, too. They're yeah. 95 Australian dollars for, mm -hmm. for a reading. Mm -hmm. um, so please check it out. I'll have the links. Uh, as you can tell, Denise knows her stuff. Um, she is fun to work with. So it's just a joy to be able to share her work with you and her presence. Uh, you also have a um, sort of like a, like a mentorship kind yeah. of program for people to develop their psychic abilities, their intuitive yes. abilities. Tell us about yeah. that. Well, actually, that's on now um, while well, I'm enrolling right now. Um, but it, it goes for seven weeks and it's live calls where we go every week. We take an aspect like clairvoyance, clairaudience, seeing, hearing, feeling and learning how to put it all together. But it, it, it's very practical. So it's like having me in your corner for seven weeks in a small group. Most of my students are introverts. So um, they're used to just sort of being really quiet and nurtured along gently. And um, I only have, a, it's only a small amount of people that I take each time because I want to give you individual attention. So that's the Psychic Connection package. That's run a couple of times a year. Um, that's a one way to work for me that's very affordable too. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, I'll be sure to have the link there. Um, Denise, thank you so much for your work. Uh, I'm, I hope that folks will check out the mini course for, for intuition mm -hmm. versus imagination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your uh, your wonderful content as well. I'll link those awesome. your Facebook and your YouTube and, and your website, etc. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess any send off word of encouragement for us. <laughs> I I would say trust your gut. Mm. I would just say that trust your gut. It doesn't lie. 
There you go. Thank you so much for having me, George. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for sharing. Awesome.